let me show you a trick to build one of the best fishing gaffs there is. Very inexpensive. I'd say less than 20 hours a gaff you can make these things easily. They may be golf clubs, but they put thousands of pounds of weight in my boat whenever I have a chance to use them. If you're at Hana Pao now, we're gonna get the hooks, like I said. For this, what you're gonna want is a turbo hook. It's five hours over here, not too bad. Perfect for what we're gonna try and do. So let's get a couple of these. Okay, to get our shaft now for our gaff, we're at Kailua Mini Storage. You can go to golf shops, whatever. I got a few of them free in the past, but I know over here I can get it for fairly cheap. So let's get inside here and they sell used golf club shafts. So when you come over here, they have a rack with golf clubs and they're $3. What you want is a graphite shaft. Graphite shaft is key. Like this, look at that one. That'll do, that's one. Okay, so I kind of went through the bin. There's still a lot left. I know I should grab extras, which I did because I know once this video goes up, I'm sure there's gonna be a couple of you guys come here because for $3, you know what I mean? How can you go wrong? So we got our hooks for five dollars each. We got our clubs for three dollars each. We're not counting the gas for time to come here, but for right now, it's eight dollars to make a gaff as of right now. There's only a few more steps, and we have gaffs. So, to me, the iron ones are really good because they seem always seem a little stiffer than the the driver ones. The driver ones definitely have a little more flex to them, but they still hold up. They're all graphite. They're strong. I never had it break on me yet, and the guy who told me about making these, Captain Don, says he's caught 60 pound shibis on them. You should just catch like 40 pound shibis with it, no problem. But for these, they're a little bit longer. To me, like this is a perfect length. So what I'll probably do is, I'll probably just cut all these down just a little bit to the length that I want. The main thing you wanna do is when you gain these, is you wanna flex them, you wanna bend them and make sure that there's no cracks anywhere, anywhere in it where it's gonna crack on you. But we got five of them. Should be good for what we're gonna do. And uh, stay to the end. I give you guys away one of these. And honestly, it doesn't matter what color they are, how they look, how ugly they, they look. You want a good grip is key. But for the shaft, we're gonna make it real pretty, so don't even worry about it. Okay, so our shafts, three dollars on, right, sir? That's right. So we got five of them. And what is this, Kailua Mini Self Storage? Kailua Mini Storage, you got it. So you say he's gonna put some more in there, right? Yep, that's right. So if you guys wanna come down, three dollars. Like I said, you're gaffing the 20 dollars. Thank you very much. So that's the guy that uh, owns it, I think, and brings the golf clubs. I'm pretty sure. Lots of parking in the front. I literally just parked in the front. When you come here, tell me you're looking for the golf club shafts for gaffs. He knows already. I told him. So I got my five. Good to go. Now what I like to do is with the hook, it's just kind of closed. To help Ninja Henry out and to help other guys on the boat out, I like to bend them open. So you just find a spot and just wedge it and just pry it open. You have to put the camera down and wedging it and really bending it open. It's about where it is right now. It's pretty bent open, which is which is what you want. So good stuff. Uh, uh, on to the next step. To me, this is probably the most difficult and most dangerous part of the whole thing. Is we have to cut the eye off the hook. You can use a hacksaw. You can use a number of different things. For me, I have a belt sander and I just use this. I notch the top. I use the pliers and I bend it off. And after that. You just have to put a couple notches into the top of the hook, maybe the first three quarters inch of the top of the hook, and that's gonna help to grab the epoxy that's gonna hold the hook into the shaft of the golf club. It's very important, you can't leave it smooth. Bumps are actually good in this situation and it's gonna help you out, trust me. Now the next step is, you're gonna wanna grind off the barb of the hook. You wanna make it smooth. If there's a little bit of a hook there, it's fine, but you wanna try to make it as smooth as possible. That way when you gaff the fish and pull it out, you're not ripping holes in the fish. So you wanna just grind it down and you can always make the tip a little more blunt. The tip doesn't have to be razor blade pointy like you would if you're fishing. Just because the amount of pressure you're gonna put on it, it's gonna go right through the fish, no problem at all. So we got our golf clubs. You gotta wanna decide what length you want. If your boat's low to the water, you probably want a short one. If your boat's high off the water, you want a long one. If you have short little T-Rex arms, you're probably gonna want a long one also. But uh, I don't know, I'd say about three feet is pretty good. And for me, the best way I like to do it is with a pipe cutter. You can use a hacksaw, you can use pretty much anything you have around the house, but a pipe cutter works extremely well. And just cut it. 
It should be hollow in the middle. Okay, so for this next part, this is gonna be kind of important, okay? There's a hole on the bottom of these gaffs. I you can see it there. You have to clog these holes before we do our next part. If you don't, you're gonna have issues and whoever else lives with you is not gonna be happy with the mess. So that's why I found the cloud the holes, hot glue gun. Everybody I'm sure has one of these at home or their spouse has one or their girlfriend has one. So we'll put some hot glue on there. And we'll just close it up. Now all you're gonna need for this is a two-part epoxy. I got this in Hawaii, Fiberglass Hawaii. Um, I'm gonna put a link in my bio. You can get it on Amazon for extremely cheap also. And it'll ship pretty much anywhere. I have to voice over this part because I forgot to mention this, but make sure you go with a slow cure. A good 30 to 45 minute window is what you want. Anything faster will kick off way too fast. One more tip before we do the epoxy part. You're gonna need some zip ties. Because you're gonna have to hang this up afterwards. And you're gonna wanna find a good place where you can hang this up where you're not gonna have to worry about it being in the weather or somebody touching it. Just make one loop. And then what I'll do is I make another loop. The golf clubs are tapered, so I just put another loop on the very top of it. Just because the taper is gonna slide down. That way you can hang it and you're not gonna have to worry at all. So you're gonna wanna keep your glue gun for this part because it's kind of important. You're gonna need it to really help you secure the deal. So what we have going on right now is we have the gas ready to go. We have our two gaff heads, our epoxy mix, and our hot glue. These are all things you're going to need for right now. It's completely mixed up. The epoxy, you want to mix it really good. You know, because I make lures, I have a scale, so I measure it all out so it's pretty exact. But even if you don't have scales, you can just measure it with cups, a little like uh, disposal cups, pour it and mix it, two on ratio. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be exact, it'll work. We have it mixed up, and we have a hole in the gaff head right there, if you can see. We're gonna put the epoxy down there. Make sure, like I said, you have your cork on the end. If not, you're gonna run into some major issues, okay? A few things before you work with epoxy. I work with resin a lot of times, so kind of used to it. The epoxy does burn though, so wear gloves. You don't wanna get in your skin. Wear eye protection, you don't wanna get splashed eye with epoxy, because that would be a, a bad thing. Um, and if you do get it in your hands, you can use some acetone, some alcohol. Water will help, but some acetone or alcohol definitely helps to get it off your skin. But here's the key part. Let's get this poured down the hole. I'm gonna wanna try to pour about, I mix two ounces. I'm probably gonna wanna pour about half this cup if I can. Probably have some paper towels too, because if it bubbles up on you, you pour too fast, you might get a bubble up and it might pour off the top. Double check your cork before you load this thing up because that epoxy, will make a mess. I guess Captain Don was using this for years and this was like his uh, his go-to method for Otaru. So Tyra's like, yeah, you always talk about Gaffy Otaru, you should build a Gaffy Captain Don's. We loved it for Otaru, I'll tell you what. After making, there's no looking back. I know a lot of you guys say in the comments like, oh, why don't you just throw them like before? What do you gaff them for, right? You know those days where we're really catching a lot of Otarus? Let's say you lose two or three in a day on the side of the boat, which isn't uncommon. You could lose 10 next to the boat which is not uncommon at all. If you add that up over the year, you're talking a thousand pounds of fish easily. I got about an ounce of resin poured on there, should be good. The more resin you put, the more strong it's gonna be. Your gaff head's gonna go down here, and you know, if I get about this much resin here, it's gonna be strong. We put those grooves on it earlier to hold it for strength. And what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna put it in there, in the hole. And I'd say where those grooves are, you probably want to get it maybe about uh, an inch down total or so, about there. Hold it at the angle you want, and add some hot glue, kind of to hold it in. Don't worry, this hot glue is not for strength; it's just to stop the leak. Now, a little hot glue, let it hold in there. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing back. I'm pushing back away from. The, I'm pushing this way. The tip is this way. I'm pushing back this way just so I can give it a little bit more open angle. That's what I'm working with right now. It's almost settled. Put a little more glue all around the whole thing, just to try to hold it in place. A 
This part does not have to look pretty because we're going to pull it off. But this is more so just the holding in place and the Tessilia. You do not want any leaks. You have leaks in this part, you're going to have issues. I miss recording this part, but after the hot glue settles and the thing's solid and not moving, you want to hang it on the zip ties upside down so the epoxy goes to the head of the gaff. Leave it for about a good hour and a half to two hours is more than enough time. So there's a couple more steps in the process. You want to make this thing look pretty because nobody wants to look at a, a golf club with a gaff head. I mean, it doesn't look pretty. It's strong already. I'm going to wait 24 hours to really check this cure out. I know it's strong already. On the handle side, I like to just roll this grip down a little bit. So I roll it back, roll it back a little bit. And then uh, make sure there's no glue residue on the over here on this part the hot glue which there shouldn't be right around here just to protect it because my whole thing is if you don't catch fish that's fine at least make it look pretty I mean so there we go and then uh like I said nobody wants a, a get this is fire stick on it like this that looks terrible let's make it look pretty white paint for your base coat just to coat it that way actually put some color and it'll be nice so let's base coat this guy I'm just blame on my camera but as you can see it's almost all white all right, here we go. It's all white. So if you need color now, which we're gonna do, we're gonna change the color in this. Put the white just to get the base coat, and uh, we got surely a color. It's pretty good so far, though. It's getting there. It's getting there. We're gonna paint it blue. The white cured um, our base coat, and then there's gonna be one final step after this, and that'll kind of seal everything up and make it good, and hopefully last at least a year or two. Mine lasted about a good year and a half before it started like chipping a little bit but it was still solid but I made new ones because they're so inexpensive but let's get some blue on there hopefully the wind is going the right direction now white even coats you don't overspray and put all drips on it you make it look a little pretty yeah champion beautiful blue uh this is it we'll let the blue dry and then uh, we'll come back with our last step and should be good to go. And then I'll let you guys know at the end of this video how you can win this gaff. I love mine on my boat and that's why I got four of them on the boat. Just in case somebody loses one. Because you know what happened last time when Roy Boy lost it. Okay, we got another batch of epoxy all mixed up. I don't you see in there. It's epoxy and I added a little, a little pizzazz, I added a little glitter to it. Just to juice it up a little bit. We use our paintbrush, and if you want to make these paintbrushes last a little longer, acetone in a cup after you use it, just wash in there. And we only have about three coat, three coats of epoxy on there, kind of really seal it up. You can't wait two, but three is just a little more protection. It's gonna drip, so I have a paper on the bottom just to catch the drips. Just start at the top and work your way around. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. One ounce is probably enough for, for two gaffs. So I guess I'm making two. So I was able to get three coats on here. As you can see, it came out pretty good. I just have to clean the gaff tip a little bit more some of the epoxy. Just gotta break it off with the pliers. Once it gets high enough, it'll pretty much chip right off. It'll be super easy. But the rest of this thing, just pretty bulletproof. And if you see, it's got some sparkle to it. It's got some sparkle to it. And the last step is right here. Slide this back down, cover our paint. Yeah, good to go. Cut this off and this gaff is good to go. So, I don't know. This gaff is overall perfect, ready to go ready for some motados and like I said I'm gonna give this gaff to one of you guys you know give me one second I got something better I'll let you choose what you want I have a blue one I have a America one red white and blue so I'll give you an option for either one of these gaffs if you win I have a lure drop going on tomorrow Friday um, get your lures morestores.com fresh batch of lures some good stuff on there you're not gonna want to miss it but I see right around the corner but the winner gets to pick which gaff they want. Either the blue one or the miracle one. Up to you. Uh, just let me know in the comments which one you want. The blue gaff or the miracle one. Hopefully the weather gets better soon. Because we haven't done much fishing. It's been going 30 here and there. Every time we can go, it's too windy. So we'll see. Hopefully this weekend change it up and we can go. But 
Let me know in the comments which one you want. As always, guys, tight line, safe fishing. We'll see you on the water, under the water. Hello, everyone. Let me know. Total action.